Hello and welcome to another Near Reading cast. Um, as always, my name is Jono and I'm joined uh, once again by Pete. Hello, Pete. Hi there. Um, this is uh, round four, game one of the Oxford Store Championship. Um, and it features on the left uh, Mike returning. Um, he was in our footage of the previous round, still on top table, uh, with his, Kate, his prepaid Kate deck. And his first appearance on our cast, uh, Reading's very own Joey uh, on the right playing the Foundry. Oh, I like Joey. He's good. He's good and uh, very predictable players, Joey. Whenever I sit opposite him, I always know some of the cards that are going to be his deck. We'll get, <laughs> we'll get on to that as the game goes on. Um, he also uses a uh, small director's note. He also uses these uh, metal credit counters, which are impossible to uh, count. To count. Yeah. Um, so this is a great contrast, actually, if you'd like to see behind the curtain for a second. On the left, we have very clear counters laid out, not stacked, very easy to count. And on the right, dark, stacked, metal counters. <laughs> I love okay. this. This is like a lesson in, in podcasting. That's it. That's yeah. it. Okay, so um, <clears throat> I would say it's a very typical first turn from the Foundry, except that he actually misplayed and didn't do his manager draw, but we'll let him go over that. Um, installing a remote as well, which is somewhat typical. It turns out it isn't on this. Um, Kate's first turn, as well yeah. as running the remote Plus? and not trashing it. Maybe you do. Install the Plus Creek. Um, he did explain this at the end of the game, mm, so okay. I'll, I will tell you his reasoning for installing the plasma Yeah, go on. It was this: he has one in his deck, and he he said whenever he sits across from Joey, he doesn't know what to expect. Uh, he obviously doesn't know Joey as well as I do. I was trash that plasma immediately. <laughs> so uh, he yeah. wanted to put it down because he only had one. He didn't want to discard it that early in case he needed it later. So it was just kind of pr um, precaution. Yeah, now mm. you've taken a timber hit. And the Foundry has been able to get economy online. That's true, yeah. I, I think I would have liked to see him trash the Adonis. It would have bankrupted yeah. him. Yeah, that's a tough decision to make. <clears throat> um, so the Foundry's second turn um, is to set up a second remote. Oh, all these names. Another Adonis. Nice. So he does yeah. trash the second Adonis. Um, okay, Lucky Finds and trash the Adonis. So the Adonis is paying out already. Yeah. We can, see, as you can clearly see, thanks to the director's incredible overlay. Jerry has eight credits. Thank God it's so easy to see that. <laughs> yeah, this is beautiful editing work here, really. So, have you played against Joey's Foundry deck before? Do you know what? Do you know what to expect? Um, I had a feeling. So, the one thing you need to know about Joey is that uh, he. Really, really, really loves fast advance. Yeah. <laughs> so you can take across from Jerry and you can expect three sand sands, three Bartics in every deck. Okay, so even not... Jinteki. Oh, now right. I oh. actually don't remember ever seeing him play Jinteki. But if he did, he'd find room for them. <laughs> <laughs> um so I would immediately expect three Bartics at least because it's HB. Maybe only two sand sands. I don't know. He might sure. Oh there's the sand sand. Yeah, that's it, box. yeah. I've seen two of them already. Yeah, so <laughs> okay. um but I do like um I like IQ, actually. Mm. In a meta that is obsessed with the strength of ice, I really like IQ because obviously the strength changes based on how many cards you have in HQ. It, it, and again, Shape in particular, it nullifies that man yep. in hilarious ways. Yeah, it's um, a strong card. Yeah. And now he's tutored for another one. So he's got one. That's his only card in hand. So it's technically strength one because he just got it. <laughs> another kind of nice synergy, I guess. Oh, look at this. And now uh, it's going to be strength two, surely. And well, no, you oh, can only yeah, trigger the foundry first. once per turn. So that's a good tip, actually, against when playing against the foundry. If you can, you should try and make them raise more than one piece of ice per turn. Don't don't run once per turn. If you run and make them raise ice, try to make them raise again to avoid to, uh, to avoid the foundry. ABT score. So quickly scored out an ABT, um, and, and fired it up. has completely uh, whiffed. Awful. I like leaving the ABT on the table overnight for the court. Um, it's dangerous, but I like bluff play. I like, I like this kind of play. So he does get a Gila Hansa and Precious Sansan. I'd say that that is the... Precious the, influence. I'd say that is the bigger loss for Joey. Anna Jackson. <laughs> Alan Jackson's the other one. Oh, I feel for you, Joey. I do. Boah. It's all right, I'm rooting for Joey. But I'll try and remain professional and neutral. So Lady um, definitely helps against uh, Next Silver and IQ. Uh, actually, IQ best, might be a best of dogs. Guy. So 
So the Adonis uh, finishes paying out and it's, it's helped. Uh, it's, yeah. it's good. It's HB's good economy is now in a good position. Um, it's clickless, obviously. It's delayed, but it's good. It, you would like to see it trashed. The Astrolabe is an interesting call as well because you feel like with two servers already installed to play with that um, there's unlikely to be a third, but who knows. Yeah. At the very least, it's memory, so that's fine. So is that more economy that's gone down? You'd have to assume so, because it asked the other remote. Installed in the first remote, asked the second, so it looks like that second remote is being set up as a as a scoring remote. Absolutely. Uh, my money would be on another Adonis. I guess it could be an Eve or something as well. But... Yeah. So that's the laundry R&D, but uh, Lady Breaks next silver. Mm, interesting. Tough decision. I do like Executive Boot Camp. Yeah. Um, it's like a mini Eliza's. He does decide to trash it. I think I like that. <clears throat> and his dirty laundry runs, so he gets his money. Good efficiency there. Turns out he's got another one. So now we can see the benefit of Executive Boot Camp. So you can use it in the foundry to res the ice you want to get more of in your hand. And next is a great example of that. Oh, so we can already yeah. tell this is going to be a high density next deck. Yep. And the executive boot camps just amp it all up, it gives, you, it gives you extra copies, and makes all your next ones better. Um, this was obviously before, as we discussed in the previous video, this was before the release of the Valley, but yep. we can expect the next gold would go into this deck pretty quickly. Yeah. I'd say it'd be good. it is expensive, but um, it's more next. So, yeah, it's more next. Maybe not. Sure. Um, as you say, it's quite cheap price in this deck. Uh, but look at it so far. I feel the next gold is more for the killer as well. You install it, have loads of other next dice resed, and then yeah. you res it when it can do a lot of damage. So more ice and R&D. It's beneficial. And Joey does that thing where he wow. cascades his ice instead of separately laying them out. Not that big wow, deal. Wow, and an install. So an extra ice uh, on the second possibly scoring remote and a card in it. So he actually now has no hand again. Which makes the... He's only got five creds. That's true. That's enough to... Score an agenda. <laughs> so maybe you, should, maybe you should press this remote. It's just a sensor in there, right? Well, that's the worry. If it is. Another executive boot camp. Okay. So the ruling here, which is what Jerry's checking there, is he can, he can use both, but he can't use them on the same ice, of course. Uh, the same card, of course. So he can use two different ices for a discount. And don't forget, the first one is the one that triggers the foundry. So, um, he gets more next dice resed and draws it, thanks to the foundry. And his second executive boot camp can still trigger as well. Uh, and install that for free, because wow, it technically cost a credit to res, yeah. but he had the one card. Um, I'm sorry, but he had the executive boot camp discount. Uh, boot camp discount. Um, <clears throat> so, after, and managed draw as well. So, an incredible pre-turn <laughs> series of events for Jerry. He hasn't even taken his turn yet. So, what do you do with Jerry here? I guess you, you kind of have a nominal scoring remote set up. Uh, it looks like he's going to use it. So, um, he has a mix. Um, his co and barrier. Uh, actually, they're in both Koga. I like either Koga, I think. Um, but it looks like scoring mode set up. You don't know what that middle ice is, but you can assume he's going to be able to afford it. So it looks like he's using the executive boot camp. I'll be interested to see what he gets. I guess Nandonis, okay. Uh, for more economy, which makes sense. So he uses it, presumably, to clear out the remote so we can install into it. Um, what do you make of this from like Kate's point of view, then? Do you pressure the remote? Do you kind of just build up and camp the remote when a card goes in? Burst, try and make a bursting run. You've got, um, you've got self models. You get a cyber cipher on that remote. Yeah. So ah. instead, he parasites the next silver. And because uh, it's done at the end of it's the, the end turn. of yeah, it's the end of turn. So it does die the following turn, even though strength two, three, strength two. Sorry, yeah. three something. 
Yeah, Hammer R and D. I don't think Joey. I think Joey's R and D might be the way here. I mean, for all we know, um, Mike has multiple makers' eyes in hand. Yeah, that's got to be an Adonis at the top. You think that's an Adonis? Yeah. He's bluffing it out. I do. What if it's another accelerated beta test? Well, then, a disaster. Then you're gonna laugh in my face <laughs> as Joey, the hometown homeboy, comes 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 through. Blah. We'll see. So short gamble, so he's got one click left. It's interesting to see if he will make a run. Wow. So, country, so he's not. Okay, interesting. So he trashed the next silver, but he didn't really capitalize on it. He you know, drew multiple cards and then kind of built up. Yeah, I was expecting a run there. Yeah. So executive boot camp triggers and raises the next silver. And scores out his Sarah Beast test. So blam. So I, I, so I actually don't like that executive bootcamp use because now he can't safely trigger the Sarah Beast test because he, he's already waived the foundry ability. Uh, he didn't use it even, but I would have liked to see him mm. uh, maybe just belay the executive bootcamp for a turn, even though it's obviously a good card, and then fire the Sarah Beast test. Yep. Having said that, maybe he also feels that he's in a good position. Um, he has a remote. If he gets the agendas, yeah. he can push them through, probably. Uh, so once again, we get the uh, previous turn parasite trick. Um, trashing next dice. Next silver, easiest trash. When there's loads. And Mike continues to draw. There we go. He's got Cyber Cypher. He's been on R&D, okay. So it sounds like he's chosen R&D over the remote. And he runs R&D. Oh, single access. Yeah. Darn. So you just saw the Eli. I like Eli's good cards. It's just very efficient. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't fit in with the kind of next plan, but it's just good taxing. Which they put on the central, you know. Um, I guess Lady makes short work of it. Yeah, she does. <laughs> So installing the remote and taking two credits, going up to two, so you have to assume this is not an agenda, because you can't score it. It's, Could be a domestic sleep. No, it's never it's a domestic the, sleep. It's the Adonis. It's the Adonis now. Yeah, yeah, Adonis maybe is a good, or uh, but still, another he's, executive he's boot camp so or something, yeah. Uh, but you still can't res it. Whatever it is. I feel like you can ignore the remote for now. What I want to see, what I want to see from Kate now is some aggressive maker's eyes. I totally want to see that. Yeah. There's nothing in there. More hand. drawing. Just a single axis running on D. He does steal it. He did he did just about have the money for it. Not the best thing to steal, but it's a gender, so it's 4 yeah, 3 now. He's pulling it back. R D is Porous. Uh, yeah. He's giving up the goods. And another run. Because why not? Jackson, you'd like to trash that, but you obviously can't. Yeah. So throwing away Stimhack, I love Stimhack. Wins your games. It does. It comes out of nowhere, especially on zero credits. Yep. When the uh, corp thinks they're safe, thinks they've got a window. Yeah, great splash. So, Fountain is economy now and badly. Badly. Maybe Jackson will find find some. And Jackson drawing again. Yeah, I guess when you need it, you need it. Only so, a Chrysium grid. So you can see a Kronos project. So that, I like. So oh, Kronos project is quite an interesting one. Yeah. Um, I know Joe really likes the agenda. I don't know how many he has. It might only be one, but it's really nice. Again, especially against Goodness Max yeah, and against fantastic. Shapers. Noise. Anyone, yeah, anyone that relies on on being able to get stuff out of the yeah. He can play more than once. A one-off splash is, is good. Because mm. oh. you can you can lay it out and then wait. Just wait for an opportunity moment yeah. to score it. And if they take it, they take it. No big deal. It's only one point. 
So does he put money back in? Um, so Kate ran archives and yeah, was using Jackson to return two face down cards on Nick Silver. So I guess the assumption is that they were genders. Yeah. That uh, Jackson is using magic hands to keep away from the runner. <laughs> Aman goes in the bin. And as he comments, that's as Mike comments here, that's probably a good move because next ice, IQ, in fact, every single piece of ice on the board will change strength. Uh, I'm sorry, the, so next silver, <laughs> next silver actually won't. But strength two at man is not a power play. <laughs> uh, strength one, I should say. Goodness, Joey has really stalled out here. Yeah, the is it got some real economy issues. I mean, no money. You could just take one layer of take ice. Take three credits. There's no. Yeah, I feel like he'd like to ice R and D more. Storming the so he's defending the first remote instead. I'm not sure why that is. Yeah. It's a strange play. I mean, he's not. Mike's not running the executive boot camp. I'm not sure if he's got something in mind to put in there. Uh, but Mike is also floundering a little bit, doing a lot of drawing. He's, yeah. he's, he's obviously looking for his, his multi-axis on R&D and not getting it. He's got one maker's it's eye in It's wide open. Yeah. So same old thing. The same old thing will help. Yeah. If he plays his maker's eye, he can get a couple of uses out of it. So, okay. So is that worth it? So Joey used the executive bootcamp to res the next bronze. So basically he spent an entire turn to get a res next bronze on the table. I'm not sure. It makes the next eye stronger, but I don't know. Kind of question that a little bit. Yeah. Icing archives. I'm not sure if he's worried about accelerate beat tests. Maybe dirty laundries. I'm not sure. He has no money though, so. And taking two credits. Yeah, a very tough economic position. Is it? I'm not sure where his Adonis is. Maybe that's. Maybe that was in the second row. I guess so. I think it is, maybe but he just can't afford to raise it. Uh, yeah, no, that's true. Yeah, then maybe that's true. I feel like you just take three credits and yes, pass, sometimes right? that is the right, yeah. the right thing to do. I mean, it's, it's not great, but. So yeah, what's the path to victory? I mean, the path to victory here for Kate is pretty clear. It's just to get some, you know, you go get some already access and burst hammer. in. Yeah. What about the foundry? I mean. So you're gonna get three Kate, accesses. Kate is looking strong. Yeah. What are we gonna see? She's a bastard. Can't do anything about that. Yeah. It's a shame. Leave yeah. that there. That's fine. Another one. So two eaves. I mean, I I think I'm okay with not trashing them. I can't afford yeah. it anyway, but they're really expensive. And if Joe manages to get the credits up to res it, so be it. Yeah. But. If anything, the reason you don't want to trash it is so you could see different cars next time. But, yeah. but he can comfortably wait a turn or two. Yes. Before same old thingy. It's one of the features of Joey's, and this goes into the Joey, mm. the Joey archetype of fast advance. One of the features is that uh, most of his agendas can be scored out in one turn. He, Joey hates going above three advancement <laughs> for an yeah. agenda. Maybe he's waiting for biotics. He obviously just drew a biotic, so maybe that's it. Maybe he's hoping he can get up to seven, biotic out on agenda. Wow, needs that money there. Maybe maybe he's installed the Adonis, maybe that's what that is over the executive boot camp. Yeah. I'd say that's reasonable. We think the other, maybe there's two Adonises, who knows? He can now afford an, an Adonis. Yep. And I guess you res it on four credits. Hmm. Ah, okay, so Mike thinks there might be Agendas in HQ, so a sneaky legwork. I like that quite a lot. Yeah, a one of legwork. He's going to get three accesses. Oh, oh there he is. He's giving up the goods. Oh. You know it's full of genders. No. And there he is. That is game. Okay, so that was it. Uh, oh, I didn't tell you there was a Qantas project on the table. Okay, I like that. Very so, nice yeah, player. so that was it. Joey was just uh, building up agendas and using the, the shaper focus on R&D to defend them only. So I really like that play. Uh, shift over to HQ and pressure it, and that's so it's often the way. You know, yeah. late late in the game, HQ builds up. It's when you sat there and it's been five six turns since the the corp installed a, a remote and installed an agenda, it's tried to score an agenda. You know, there's going to be at least one or two. That was like that. He probably he maybe wasn't expecting to get a game out of it, but you'd think he'd be able to flush out something, even if it was an NAPD or something. Yeah, so I like that. So uh, yeah, good play from Mike. Um, and bad luck to Joey when I run. But the the Reading. Running team don't have particularly good uh, success but, against Oxford. But he, you know get, this, but he yeah. gets his revenge in the next matchup, right? Oh, I don't. I don't remember. We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. Is it coming up next? It is coming up very soon. 
So, uh, Divya, we'll see you in just a minute.